Hello guys, and welcome to my review of the GNG Raider CM16. Now, this here is the CQB version. Try to keep those straps out of the way, I'm using my GoPro again. Um, so let's talk about main specs. It comes with your main GNG gearbox and piston setup. This here is from their combat machine lineup. And, uh, is it M4? Now, it usually comes with a black stock if you get them black. The only reason it's tan is because I broke my stock by accident and I bought a tan one. Nor do I have the butt plate that goes on it. But, let's talk about where the battery goes. This gun uses a 9.6 volt nunchuck style battery. And you would insert it right in here. It is wired to Tamiya. I believe that's what it's called, that Tamiya's. I'm just getting into gun maintenance, so forgive me if I get Dean's and Tamiya's mixed up. The gun is of a mainly polymer build with some metal to it. Uh, metal mainly being like the front part here. It's like alum aluminum. But it's mainly polymer. And it comes with a full setup of a rail. And it's got markings on it. So let's look at said markings. First off, you've got the combat machine markings. You've got the warning, essentially, do not shoot your neighbors. Behind my cord is a complete, complete AEG series MFG by combat machine made in Taiwan. It also has, I do not know if that's a unique serial number, but there is a serial number, C23294. And also it has the semi-auto and full auto. A little stiff, but it's okay. It also has the L8, L28, L26. Basically the markings on what each one of these things are. It's on the other side. It also says, it'll say semi-auto, auto, and safe on the other side, but it's not ambidextrous. That's right, this is a non-ambidextrous gun. And then again, on both sides of the rails, there's the markings. Now, the magazine released is on this side. Push that button in, pull your magazine out. These sights are a basic combat machine sight. Basic eight fours. They aren't the best, but they get the job done. Now, what I have included on my gun, as a little added, is just a basic $40 laser that I got. But it shoots pretty far. I've also got the little pressure pad, but I use a rubber band instead of the usual thing. Let's see how far this aims. As you can see on the garages, that's pretty far out. So this laser definitely could be used for any type of combat scenario. Again, this gun uses a 300 round high cap magazine. I believe these are called high caps. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to bleed these red caps. So, now comes the shooting part. And we all know this is an M4. We all know the backstory of M4s. You know, there's some better YouTube videos than mine you can watch about M4s. I'm not going to be Mr. Ooh, I'm going to give you military history. Just a YouTuber trying to make videos to have fun. this in. Well, I forgot to mention, this is a four-point stock? Or is it a six-point? It's one, two, three. Yeah, four-point. Technically only three, though. So, yeah, pretty nice stock. Pretty comfy without the butt plate, though it does cut into you a little bit. But that is okay. And what you're hearing in the background is probably my mother. She's cooking dinner. The charging handle is non-functioning, but it gives off a nice clank. Nice little clank. And there's a spring decompressor right here. You push that and it decompresses the spring. I 
again, the charging handle is not uh, non-functioning, so it just really is a lot of fun to pull. And it doesn't feel like it's going to break on the first pull. Though it is, again, just polymer, so it can, in fact, break. Mind you, any airsoft gun with any amount of force will break. I'm going to wind up this magazine because I decompressed the spring on the magazine. This here is the first gun I got brand new. So... We will be shooting at our old boat over there. Gosh, you can see the laser ray out there. Because this gun can reach out there. It's pretty far reach. Um, anything past that boat, though, I don't think you can hit pretty far. But it's got reach. Again, this style of 60M16 Raider is mainly for CQB. So it's not meant to have range, it's more so maneuverability. Alright. I should have her. Yeah, put some uh, things and grab that log off the ground. Oh, alright. Let me finish up my review and I'll do that. Sorry about that. Small interruption. I'm not going to edit that out because that is my mother and she deserves every bit of recognition for what she does. So, again, does not function. It just is really fun to do. And uh, we'll start with all those little toy cars out there. Okay, that's about looking down the site. So, as you can see, it's not that bad of an accuracy. When you look down your sights, I need to tune mine in. I forgot to mention, these are fully adjustable. So, that's really cool. Next, we'll go to the further back car right there. Not aiming down my sight. I gotta tune in this laser too. It's off a little bit. Now with sight. Yeah, it's really off. It's shooting towards the left. But I can tell my BB's getting close to where I'm aiming. Again, this has not been tuned in for accuracy. It's more so than tuned in to give me a relativity of where the shot's going. Now we'll go for the boat. Alright. Now I'll go full auto burst. So yeah, I gotta tune this in a bit because it's been a while since I've used it. But um, yeah, again, this runs off a 9.6 volt, 1600 milliamp battery, and uh, Next up, I'll just shoot at this little kiddie pool. Sandbox.
Now we'll snipe it. And we'll just kill out the magazine. Alright, that's the magazine. Alright. Alright. This has been my review of the Raider CM16 by GNG and their Comet Machine lineup. Leave a like, comment, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll do my goodbye song as the sun sets on this beautiful day. An alligator and a crocodile went to the lake one day. They had lots of fun and lots of laughs. But my oh my, how the time had passed. Soon it was time to say goodbye. And how do they say goodbye, do you know? See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile, have no fear, wipe them tears, and I'll be back in a little while. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed.